Are you tired of living paycheck to paycheck and struggling to make ends meet? Do you want to take control of your finances and start saving money? If so, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll be sharing the top 10 money-saving tips that actually work. These tips are practical, easy to implement, and can help you save money, reduce your expenses, and achieve your financial goals faster. From creating a budget to negotiating your bills, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn some valuable money-saving tips. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos on financial literacy and money management. Tip 1. Create a budget. Creating a budget is not only the first step to saving money, but it is also the foundation of financial planning. A budget helps you to understand your cash inflow and outflow, which is essential for making informed financial decisions. To create a budget, start by listing all your income sources, including your salary, freelance income, and any other income streams. Then, list all your expenses, including fixed expenses like rent, utilities, and loan payments, as well as variable expenses like groceries, entertainment, and shopping. Categorize your expenses to help identify areas where you can cut back. Use budgeting tools like Mint or YNAB to track your spending and stay within your budget. Revisit your budget regularly to ensure that you're staying on track and making progress towards your financial goals. By creating a budget, you can take control of your finances and make informed decisions that will help you save money and achieve your financial goals. Tip 2. Cut back on eating out. Eating out can be one of the most significant expenses for many people, and reducing this expense can lead to substantial savings. Cooking at home not only saves money, but it can also be healthier, allowing you to control the ingredients and portion sizes. To cut back on eating out, start by planning your meals ahead of time, creating a grocery list, and sticking to it. Use coupons and shop for deals to reduce your grocery bill. Meal prep for the week to save time and reduce the temptation to eat out. Try to limit eating out to special occasions, and choose cheaper options when you do go out, like lunch instead of dinner. Additionally, consider bringing your lunch to work instead of eating out, which can save hundreds of dollars each year. Cutting back on eating out may require some effort and planning, but it can lead to significant savings that can be used towards achieving your financial goals. Tip 3. Reduce your energy bill. Reducing your energy bill is a simple and effective way to save money on a monthly basis. Start by identifying areas where you can reduce your energy usage, such as turning off lights and electronics when not in use, and unplugging chargers when they're not in use. Additionally, switch to energy-efficient appliances and light bulbs to reduce your energy consumption further. Properly maintaining your HVAC system, cleaning air filters, and setting your thermostat to an efficient temperature can also lead to significant savings. You can also consider installing a programmable thermostat to automatically adjust the temperature in your home based on your schedule. Finally, consider using natural light instead of turning on lights during the day, and hanging clothes to dry instead of using the dryer. By reducing your energy bill, you can save money and reduce your carbon footprint at the same time. Tip 4. Buy used items. Buying used items is an excellent way to save money while still getting the things you need. Consider buying used furniture, clothing, electronics, and appliances instead of buying new. You can find used items in excellent condition on online marketplaces like eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and Craigslist, or by shopping at thrift stores and garage sales. When buying used items, be sure to inspect them thoroughly to ensure they are in good condition and meet your needs. Some items, such as furniture and electronics, may require cleaning or repairs, but the savings can be significant. You can also sell items you no longer need or use to make some extra cash. By buying used items, you can save money and reduce waste, which is good for your wallet and the environment. Tip 5. Cancel unnecessary subscriptions. Many of us have subscriptions for services that we don't use or need, and canceling these subscriptions can lead to significant savings. Start by identifying all your monthly subscriptions, including streaming services, gym memberships, magazine subscriptions, and more. Evaluate each subscription and ask yourself if you're using it enough to justify the cost. If the answer is no, it's time to cancel. Canceling unused subscriptions can be done easily online or by calling the service provider directly. You can also use budgeting apps like Truebill or Trim to help you identify and cancel unused subscriptions automatically. 
By canceling unnecessary subscriptions, you can save hundreds of dollars each year, which can be used towards achieving your financial goals. Tip 6. Plan your shopping. Planning your shopping trips is an essential part of saving money and avoiding impulse purchases. Start by creating a shopping list based on your needs and prioritize the most important items. Consider shopping in bulk for items you use frequently, as this can save you money in the long run. Additionally, try to avoid shopping when you're feeling emotional or stressed, as this can lead to impulsive purchases. Instead, plan your shopping trips ahead of time when you're feeling calm and collected. Take advantage of sales and discounts by checking store flyers and coupon apps before you go shopping. When shopping for clothes, consider buying out of season or waiting for end of season sales to get the best deals. By planning your shopping trips, you can avoid impulse purchases and save money on the items you need. Tip 7. Use cashback apps. Cashback apps can help you save money on purchases that you're already making. These apps offer cashback or rewards for shopping at certain retailers, which can add up to significant savings over time. Some popular cashback apps include Rakuten, Honey, and Ibotta. To use these apps, simply download them to your smartphone, create an account, and start shopping. Many apps offer a browser extension that automatically alerts you when you're on a website that offers cashback. When you make a purchase, the app will track your purchase and credit your account with cashback or rewards. Some apps also offer bonus cashback for referring friends or for making purchases during special promotions. By using cashback apps, you can save money on purchases you're already making and get more value for your money. Tip 8. Use coupons and promo codes. Using coupons and promo codes is an easy and effective way to save money on your purchases. Before making a purchase, search online for coupons and promo codes for the store or website you're buying from. You can find coupons on websites like RetailMeNot, Coupons.com, and Groupon, or by using browser extensions like Honey that automatically apply coupons at checkout. Additionally, sign up for store newsletters and loyalty programs to receive exclusive coupons and discounts. When shopping in store, be sure to check for coupons in the store's weekly ad or on their website. By using coupons and promo codes, you can save money on everything from groceries to clothing to electronics. Over time, these savings can add up and help you achieve your financial goals. Tip 9. Negotiate your bills. Negotiating your bills can be an effective way to save money on monthly expenses. Start by reviewing your bills and identifying services that you can negotiate, such as your internet, cable, or phone bill. Research competitors' prices and promotions to have a better idea of what discounts are available. Call your service provider and ask if there are any promotions or discounts that you can take advantage of. You can also leverage your loyalty or good payment history to negotiate a better rate. If you're not confident in your negotiation skills, you can use services like Trim or Bill Cutters, which will negotiate your bills on your behalf for a fee. By negotiating your bills, you can save hundreds of dollars each year, which can be used towards achieving your financial goals. Tip 10. Set Savings Goals. Setting savings goals is a crucial step in achieving financial success. Start by determining how much you want to save and why. Whether you're saving for an emergency fund, a down payment on a home, or a dream vacation, having a specific savings goal in mind can help you stay motivated and on track. Break your goal down into smaller, more manageable goals, and create a plan to achieve them. Consider setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account to make saving easier and more consistent. You can also use budgeting apps that have savings goal features, such as Capital or Digit, to help you reach your goals faster. Revisit your savings goals regularly to track your progress, adjust your plan as necessary, and celebrate your successes along the way. By setting savings goals, you can take control of your finances, build wealth, and achieve financial freedom. Conclusion. And there you have it, our top 10 money-saving tips that actually work. We hope you found these tips helpful and that you can start implementing them to improve your financial situation. Remember, saving money doesn't have to be complicated or overwhelming. By making small changes to your daily habits and being mindful of your spending, you can achieve your financial goals faster than you think. Thank you so much for watching Amateur Money, and we truly appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video and found it valuable, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's totally free, and by subscribing, 
you'll be the first to know about our latest videos on financial literacy and money management. Again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.